Welcome back crazy friends. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name's Tracy. I lost 80 pounds on keto and I've been doing this lifestyle for 19 months. This is the summertime cookout collab 2020. I'm super excited about this video because this is a huge collab with like 18 different keto cooking and just wonderful channels that are participating. It's kind of a series all summer long for all of the big party events like 4th of July, Labor Day weekend. It's gonna be super fun. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is a great place to be and we just have a wonderful community and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure that you subscribe and you ring that bell so you don't miss any videos that I upload. I upload at least one video a week, sometimes two. Today I'm going to be fixing a shrimp cocktail that's keto friendly because that cocktail sauce can get you. And then we're gonna do a loaded cauliflower salad that's served cold for all of your outdoor entertaining needs for the entire summer. And then we're gonna do a teriyaki flank steak. I don't know about you, but being on keto for as long as I've been on keto, I miss teriyaki. So I'm gonna show you how to make this wonderful marinade so you can put it on all of your meats. Let's kick this off. Okay, so today we are going to be doing shrimp cocktail. And normally you would think this is a great keto food. Shrimp is a great keto food. Now the cocktail sauce on the other hand, you need to be careful. So in this cocktail sauce, let's see, it has 18 carbohydrates, one dietary, less than one dietary fiber. So this is, and this is for a fourth of a cup. So really high in carbs but we're going to make our cocktail sauce keto friendly today. Just two ingredients, super easy. Now this is a fabulous ketchup. It's unsweetened, it's by Primal Kitchen. It is really good and I love this. And then we always have cream style horseradish on hand. Now, just so you know, they do add high fructose corn syrup. I've tried the beaver that has the same same ingredients pretty much so your best bet is to get horseradish that isn't creamed and hopefully you can get a little cleaner but we always have this on hand so pairing these two a wonderful combination to make your own cocktail sauce this even though it does have high fructose corn syrup in it it has one carb for a teaspoon. So if we're using three teaspoons or one tablespoon in our cocktail sauce, we should be fine. Just don't consume a whole lot, right? Okay, so let's get busy today. First, we're going to be putting in the Primal Kitchen ketchup. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. That looks like a, a good amount. I always serve the keto one on the side so and write a little thing that shows that it's keto so everyone knows. And then we're gonna be using the, the creamy horseradish today. And we're gonna put in a tablespoon of that. And then just stir it together. This is perfect. So three tablespoons of the Primal Kitchen ketchup that's unsweetened, one tablespoon of horseradish, creamy horseradish. All right, so we have our shrimp cocktail sauce. Let's try this. We like a little heat, right? So. It does have a little heat. If you don't want it quite as hot, add one more tablespoon of ketchup just to balance it out. And 
this stuff is perfect, but we like it spicy. And you have a wonderful shrimp cocktail that is low in carbs. If you like this video, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. it helps support my channel. All right, so are you ready to make some teriyaki flank steak? So for this recipe, you'll need sesame oil, rice vinegar. I didn't have any minced garlic, so I'm gonna use some granulated garlic, some sesame seeds, liquid aminos, and then some monk fruit or erythritol brown sugar. Uh, so this is all keto friendly and everyone actually in my family likes it. So let's put it together. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. So for this recipe, you're gonna be needing a fourth of a cup of liquid aminos or soy sauce, whichever you have. We're gonna be putting in two tablespoons of ses toasted sesame oil. Two tablespoons rice vinegar, and this actually is an it's acidic, so it will break down the muscle fibers in flank steak, so it'll tenderize it while it marinates. So I'll put that in. Then we have a teaspoon of granulated garlic and two tablespoons of sesame seeds. And I have a fourth of a cup of the erythritol or the monk fruit brown sugar, so whichever you have. And then we're gonna whisk this together. Now, since this is a marinade, as you can tell, it is very, very thin, and that is completely and totally fine. Now, if you wanted to make a teriyaki sauce, what you could do is put some xanthan gum in and it will thicken up. But today we're just making a marinade and it is very, very good. Let's go put this in a bag with my flank steak. So we have the flank steak in a Ziploc bag. And I'm just gonna pour our marinade over the top. We'll zip it up. I like to get all the air out of it and kind of push the marinade into the meat. And just kind of work it in. I'm gonna let this sit for four hours and then we're gonna throw it on the grill. It is gonna be so delicious. So that's what it looks like. The flank steak is on the grill. As you can tell, the flank steak, the, the grain is this way. So you're gonna slice it across the grain and it will make it more tender as well. So, isn't that perfect? juicy, so it'll just pull, pull apart. Perfect. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, I've missed teriyaki so much. Loaded cauliflower salad is keto friendly and amazing. It holds in the fridge for days and even I, I had my husband try it and guess what? He didn't even miss the potatoes. Win-win. Okay, so we're going to be steaming our cauliflower. I barely put any water in the bottom. And we'll steam it till it is fork tender. I think our cauliflower is pretty done. I don't want it to be too soft because I want it to hold shape for our salad. It goes in quite nicely, but still a little bit on the firm side. I'm gonna strain this, and then I'm gonna let it cool before we add all of our delicious 
loaded baked potato items to it. For this recipe, you're gonna be needing, obviously, cauliflower. I used a bag of the organic cauliflower from Costco. I just steamed it so it's fork tender. Then we're gonna be using some mayonnaise. And if you're new to my channel, I just buy one mayonnaise. My family loves the best foods, even though uh, avocado mayonnaise would probably be a better choice for keto. This is what my family likes, so this is what I get. And then we need some sour cream. And you can shred your own cheese. Uh, you can use Mexican style, like I'm gonna be doing, or you can just shred some cheddar cheese. And then we're gonna be slicing up some chives to put on top and in. And then I just love these bacon crumbles. They make it so easy to add bacon to all of your loaded cauliflower stuff, uh, throw it on anything. So these are always in my house and this bag looks a little on the light side so I know I already have another bag for backup. First we're gonna add a half a cup of mayonnaise. Then we're gonna be adding half a cup of sour cream. Then let's add some bacon. We might add more later. And then a half a cup of Mexican style cheese. We're gonna kind of fold it in because the, well as much as we can fold. The cauliflower is a lot more fragile than potatoes. You need to work it a little bit more gingerly because you don't want, you want to have bites instead of mushed cauliflower. And I can tell you right now, we're gonna need a little bit more bacon and a little bit more cheese. I like to be able to see it. Okay, so I added some more bacon and some more cheese. We're just gonna fold this in. Let's slice up these chives. Perfect, so we have the chives nicely sliced up, ready to go. So let's add the chives. It gives a little bit of flavor and a whole lot of color, so it's going to look really nice. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna fold this in and then I'll plate it for you. So here is our loaded cauliflower salad. And you always wanna garnish with stuff that you've used in the recipe. So here I garnished it with a little more cheese, some more chives, and topped it with a little bacon. And so it looks really presentable, nice, clean, ready for the summer cookout meal. Also you can use pepper and salt to taste. If you're coming from someone else's channel, please, in the comments below, tell me where you came from. That's always fun to see. And if you're one of my subscribers and you go check those other YouTubers out, which you should, uh, please make sure that you tell them that you came from Crazy Mom Life. Thank you so much for sticking around this long and watching me prepare all of these foods. I hope you learned something from it and I'm just really glad you're here. Welcome if you're new. We have a lot of fun on this channel. So in this collab there is 18 channels participating and majority of them are keto. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave all of their links in the description box below. So there's can't wait smells great Fariana's vlogs life adventures and keto mommy is losing it dad's chow gail crabtree angie in real life chef Arel young paleo barbie does keto keto kitchen by lisa foodie fatty keto keto on a budget keto like a lady windy baron mama does keto Tony, Damien, Valerie Reese, and Renia Rifle Mama Bear Keto. So there you have it, the whole list.
You guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. For Memorial Day weekend. Take care, friends.